doing commentaries is not an easy thing. Not at all. I'm having, like, issues. This is, this is like, my freaking 10th retake. It's, it's so hard to do freaking commentaries. Because sometimes you mess up, and then you're like, Oh my god, did I just say this? And you actually try to think about it while you're commentating. It's like, oh, did I just say this? I don't know if I just said that. I think I just said that in the beginning of the video. Because you go over it so many times, you're doing it so many times. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. I'm actually, I'm using this gun here. I don't know what it's called. I don't give a shit. But I like it. And I used it before, and it did work out too well. It worked out well, but it did work out too well. Some maps are good for some uh, some Some guns are good for some maps. And uh, this one here is pretty much good for this one. Or almost all of them. Because it's uh, short range. And uh, I, I guess I like it. Yeah, like I say, you can say I like it. Pretty much. And I decided not to put the red dot on it because... Oh, I didn't figure I need the red dot. I don't know if you saw in the beginning, or maybe not even here, or maybe later on, I'll unlock the uh, millimeter scanner, which is something I don't probably plan on using with this particular gun. Because I don't know, I don't know if it's going to work out too well. I just got the red the red dot for uh, increased hit per currency, because I do a lot of hip fire, as you can see. <laughs> God, shit. Oh, I hit fire a lot. And what's his name? El Presador on YouTube. He does a lot of hip firing also. And I would highly recommend that he uses, uh, if he would just use the uh, the red dot, because it increases your currency. You know, it, it gives you better currency when you're shooting. He, he loved the hip fire. He hip fire a lot, man. So you should definitely use this. And I have the, uh, the stabilizer thing there where you hook on. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. But you put it on, and then you just you have so much. You know, it's better for the recoil. You know, not, not a lot of recoil. Recoil. The gun doesn't like shoot up and go all over the damn place. It helps. I mean, it sucks. It's really bad with some of the guns, but it does help. Uh, one of the things I would actually do to, for max for the for have to have the maximum effect of no recall is would be to put on that uh, stabilizer thing. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's holding it right there. I don't know what it's called. Put put that on. Uh, put on the um, the silencer. That it helps. Should help. Look, look at that. The freaking bird thing he hit the, the damn tree. I don't even know what it's called. I don't remember what it's called. But I have bad memory right now. I don't remember what it's called. But it hit the, I threw it up in the air and it hit the tree. What kind of shit is that? It, it, how hit the leaves, man? It's supposed to go through the leaves. What kind of shit is that? Anyway. So, yeah. I think that will be the best option right now for, uh, you know, just to, to, to remove the recoil from the gun. The gun does go all over the place. And that's one of the things that pissed me off with this game in the beginning. Uh, when I was playing, I'm like, dude, why? Look, look at this. Look at this. See that? The first bullet did not even register. I'm going to show you here again. I got into it again. Look. I have long bar alarm. It didn't even hit. No hit mark. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The shotgun didn't even register. How the F does the shotgun not register in such a close range? Not even a single hit mark. I was pointing point blank towards that guy. Uh, absolutely nothing. Anyway. Uh, I'm talking about the, uh, what was talking about? I was talking about the, uh, how the gun go all over the place when you're shooting at it. When you're shooting at somebody, depending on the gun, it goes all over the place. It goes up, it goes down, left to the right, back to the front. It just moves all over. It, it is the worst thing ever in this game. Absolutely hate it. I was looking at a YouTube video. And some guy was complaining about the same thing. Is the the record how when you shoot, it goes the gun go all over, it goes all over the place. The guy was like, uh, well, what if you're shooting at his foot? Excuse me, what, why would I want to shoot at his foot? You know, he said, why would you, when you shoot at his foot, it pulls it up to the body? I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. What if I want to go to a headshot? You know, so th th that that could be a, a big problem. It is a big problem. El, El Presidor has a big problem with it, and so do I. It moves all over the place, but with this gun, it doesn't move all over the place. As you can see, maybe it updated, maybe it got fixed. I have no idea. I haven't been experiencing it lately with the guns I've been using because uh, I got the uh, stabilizer thing on, and I, some of the guns have uh, silencers on them, so it doesn't really move all over the place. I guess I haven't really noticed it lately, but it did. It did piss me off at one point. Like I, I really, I quit out of the game and I want to go play some Modern Warfare 3. You know. And with the guns, the shotgun not registering the bullets properly, it pissed me off. It really did piss me off. So, had a big, big problem with that. Yeah, got a little birdie again. Of course. I, I don't know why I hit the tree in the first place. Like, that that, that didn't make any sense. Uh, will I ever buy another um, Black Ops game? I don't know. Honestly, I 
do not know. Would I have bought another Modern Warfare game? Uh, again, I don't know. Modern Warfare 3 is an awesome game, but it's just that on the PC, again, I don't play Xbox, I don't play PS3, I don't play the Wii, I have no idea how it is over there. But on the PC, it's just, ooh, I believe my first ever game I got into with uh, Modern Warfare 3, when I first bought the game, and I started playing it, the first match, literally the first match I went into had a guy who was in body. Literally. I posted some videos up on YouTube where I went in this match. I went in like three or five matches in a row, and all of them had aimbotters. All of them. Three match. How, 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 the, the possibilities, man. So many matches, and three matches you go in, back after back, have aimbotters in it. That's one of the biggest problems with Modern Warfare 3. And even as, as I play it today, it still has that kind of problem. There's a lot of aimbotters, wall hacks, and weird ass shit they're doing in the game. And that freaking pisses me off, you know, and I felt like it's, my money was going down the drain. I don't know. I don't know how they could do it. How to, I don't know how they can stop it in the future. Uh, but I will not be, I don't know. I'm going to have to stick with Battlefield. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe Black Ops. I, I might buy the, I might buy the, uh, maybe, I might buy uh, Black Ops 3. And uh, because I, I haven't really found, I only found one hacker in here so far, as far as I can tell. Only ran into one person that hacked, but so far uh, Black Ops is doing a pretty good job of keeping the hackers out. So maybe I might stick with it, uh, maybe not. It all depends on the future. For, but for Modern Warfare 3, the biggest problem with it is the uh, is hackers. There's so many hackers. It rains hackers. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.